Yeah, what special qualifications do you have? What's your background? What gives you the, the power to say what is or is not real, huh? Mr. So-called Skeptic. Um, I don't need any of that. You've made a claim which you don't support. I point out where it's not supported. And therefore I'm not going to believe in it automatically. That, that's enough. That's all you need to do. You, you don't need special uh, special background in academia to argue against the word salad of some psychic medium or spiritual teacher. You don't need that. They're not using the words correctly. They're not using them in context. They lose meaning as a result. So you don't need any special background in knowledge for that. In terms of knowledge of the lingo, of the practices in spiritualism or New Age or whatever the case may be, well, you don't need that either. Someone makes a claim, a clear claim, and they don't back it up. Or they use a really low level of so-called evidence, experience. It doesn't work. It doesn't stand. So you don't need anything special. You just point out the obvious and go, hang on, this does not work. And providing that's valid, it's not simply a question of you dismissing. You're actually going, OK, what's the claim? Was the support for the claim? OK, and how is that, you know, clear? Is that actually something you can test? You can't. You can't test this? A bunch of people claim the same thing, but they all, they're all believers, they're all biased, and you can't test this again? What, what use is the claim? As far as I'm concerned, it's pretty much worthless. But there you are.